back again with new crafting videos. Today I'm making another Eastern style arm protection or braces or arm guards or whatever you prefer to call these things. Again, I'm learning as I'm going along with it. First one I already kinda sorta made, now I'm trying to recreate it. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of tools to make what I make more visually appealing so it's, a, it's going to be a bit rougher around the edges, literally, because I don't have any tools to send off the edges properly. But hopefully one day I will. Well, the whole point of this channel is to show that some schmuck with no tools can make something like this. After I cut out what uh, can be crudely called a circle, more of an octagon really, I make it into a cylindrical shape. Unfortunately, I decided to do it off camera. It's not a difficult thing to do. I used a metal bar to curve it. Then next to a stump, I curved it a bit more to fit my hand uh, more properly. I'm trying to bang it out uh, and shape it around my hand. It's a really, really crude process. Again, I don't have a lot of tools, but as you can see, you can make do with basically just your uh, grit determination and few things you can find in a, any shed. Uh, then I try to curve the underarm part of the armor, which I am not as successful. Well, I did curve it around, but it's not as pretty. Now the underarm hand covering, which I curved also around a pipe. Now I'm also using a hammer to shape it into place to fit my arm much better and the pliers which unfortunately give it more more of a rough shape at the edges but what you gonna do after this i drill holes where mail will go into well chain in my case if you can remember this is part of the better uh, gauntlets better armor and it's the whole idea of this type of armor is combination of plate and mail for mail to work on your arms it, it's better to be flat and small because we don't want round rings to jab into your arm and make it uncomfortable. So I used small and thick chain links, cut them up, open them up and will use it to combine the two parts of the um, gauntlet. It's a similar style of technique I use for my ring armor. Check it out if you haven't seen or refresh your memory if you want to. Now I'm combining those two rows of chain links with smaller style of mail that I made previously, uh, so it will rest more comfortably on my arm. There aren't a lot of uh, dedicated videos uh, or any information about this type of armor because it's more popular in Eastern Europe and East in general, so I had to figure all of this stuff on my own, which is a fun but really arduous process. Hopefully I can make more Eastern European uh, style of arms and armor and history more popular on YouTube because fortunately it's quite lacking. Now it is time to put the belt buckles on. As you can see it's a bit uh, of a tight grip but it's still comfortable. Again I always forget this and uh, you should remember it that you are going to wear either clothes or much preferably gamison or some kind of padding underneath so make everything a bit bigger. I hope everything is self-explanatory up to this point. I'm making a hole in the leather where the belt will go in and uh, then I'm going to make a hole where a rivet will go in and on and on and on. I hope this type of um, Gonzo fucking around or finding out a style of tutorials are interesting to you because other style of tutorial videos require a lot of technique and tech and equipment that uh, I personally didn't have and still don't have a lot of them. So for a beginner I think it's we made the belt, we also made holes where the belt rivets will go in and uh, Please don't forget to put the belt buckle holder because I did and I had to redo all of this whole crafting tutorial. One of my biggest weaknesses is 
measuring and I usually just go by instinct. I measure once and cut 100 times rather than measure 100 times and cut once kinda crafter which is really not a good way to make stuff but I can't help it. Math and numbers and measuring is my biggest weakness here. I just go off the seat of my pants and my instincts as a craftsman which are most of the time completely wrong but I never stop fucking up. But that's the process ladies and gentlemen and I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, blah -de blah -de blah all the YouTube stuff and check out other crafting videos. Thank you for watching and take care.